What's up guys, reviews to our channel, welcome to a new video, today I'm doing an F1 2014 Australian Grand Prix preview, but of course I'm not doing it alone. Before I explain what we're doing this season, I'm going to introduce my co-mate for the first preview, and I'm going to let him introduce himself, it is Harry, so, guten tag. Hola, it's Spanish, I think, hello, anyway, I'm Harry, if you don't know, you probably don't know me, and just cheers for Toby for letting me come on his channel. Um, no problem. Uh, so we're going to get right into the preview really quickly. Um, before I do that, though, I'm just going to explain what happens this year. So obviously we've got 19 races. I will be previewing all of them, previewing all of them on the channel. And Harry's our first guest. And hopefully I'm going to get people like Ben, James, Matt, Dan, Matt Tucson, all these different people on here for the previews. But I hope you enjoy the first one anyway. So first question of the year... I'm going to put it straight into that, straight into Harry. Who's going to hit win the race? One name. Oh, it is a tough one. But Definitely, it's yeah. It's got to be one of the Mercedes. Just from testing. I know normally it doesn't mean much, but with all the regulation changes, they do look dominant in testing. Mm. Right, okay, so that's fair enough. But I'm going to ask you, one name. Lewis or Nico? It's got to be Lewis. He's got so much support this season. It's looking like a stronger season to win his second title. Yeah, Lewis, that one. Fair enough. So if you've got anything else, to, if you've got nothing else to say, let's move on to the next subject. Yep. So Toby, who will get pole position? I mean, like you said, there, it's a really tough one, isn't it? Um, you know, it's yeah. going to be really tough um, predicting anything for the first like half of the season, um, and it's going to be really hard. But I'm going to do what you've done really based on testing. I've got to say a front low row lockout for the Mercedes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go a bit controversial, but I'd say a second row lockout for Williams. I have to agree with that. They do look strong. It's the only test I know, and the new livery looks awesome. Yeah. And, yeah. Second well, row lockout for Williams. Should I say Williams Martini? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and then obviously, I couldn't really think of anybody else, so I'm going to say Vettel in fifth. I even though I don't like him, he's probably one of the best qualifiers in, in the, he's probably one of the best racers in the grid. And, you know, I, could, I can't see him getting any lower than fifth on the grid personally. Yeah. So, I'm going to ask you, obviously, that's pretty much the end of the preview because it's really short because well, just put any questions in the comments that you want uh, us to include next time, because I was a bit stuck for questions. But obviously, as it's a really um, hard thing to predict, obviously, as it's the new season and all that, you know, it's really hard to think of questions. But anyway, we're going to move on to the season ahead. So what do you think, Harry, of the season ahead? Who do you think? How do you think it's all going to pan out? Uh, Mercedes domination up until the first European races, where Red Bull should have all their problems fixed. They could have them fixed for Australia, but who knows. Yeah, that's, it. Uh, that's quite an interesting point, really. Um, so do you, think, do you think that it will be Mercedes dominates, you know, lap everyone like 500 times and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, it'll be close. Them, them, Ferrari and Williams, top three, Lotus and Red Bull, absolutely nowhere. But can't, uh, can't find out till we get to Sunday, can we? No, I mean, um, like I was saying to you earlier before we did this, it's all about reliability, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, you could have, like, two cars finish the race, and for all yeah. we know, it could be one case from Marussia. <laughs> but, um, you know, that could happen, but yeah. you never really know with these sort of new seasons, and that's what's so hard to um, predict, but I love, the, I love a challenge, obviously, yeah. <laughs> as you all know. But, yeah, I think it'd be very good... Um, you know, very good. Yep. Season. Be one of the best for a long time. Yeah, and obviously, definitely. um, we obviously, talking about F1 today, we obviously, um, wish the best and hope a, um, a full recovery for Michael Schumacher. Yeah. Um, you know, he's been that, in that coma for nearly three months now. I don't know how quick so, time um, so hopefully he does get better. I'm sure he will. Um, Make sure, guys, to keep those hopes up. But I think that is pretty much it today. So, sadly, guys, I know that was pretty short. But please, 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 please put in the comments what um, 
subjects you want us to cover in the future ones and um I think that's about it. So thank you so much, Harry, for coming on today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Toby. And I think that is it. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Ben, we're done. <laughs> Ben's like, oh my god.